Okay guys, so book review time. We'll start off with Steve Harvey's book. It's called Act Like a Lady, Think Like a Man. Um, I, what can I say about this book? First of all, I want to say it's a very good book um, for maybe women that overanalyze relationships in men. It, it, you don't really need this book to just, you just have to know when you're dating, it's more of a dating book, just have some common sense. Um, so let's see, for instance, what drives men? Most women, not most, um, men are driven by their success, not their success in their home life their success in the outside world and once they're successful in the outside world then they're able to devote more and feel more like a man and able to provide for you at home so that's sort of the premise of um, the first part of the book which I, I agree with if a man doesn't feel like he's providing able to provide for a family or do this and do that it's going to be hard for him to give you the things that he needs if he can't be fulfilled himself and it goes vice versa if you're a woman in a relationship before you can look for outside fulfillment and you know broadening your life you need to work on yourself first and that's basically what it's saying that guys do and then it says our love isn't like our love meaning that men aren't going to show their love the way that maybe a, most women would a man is going to do things for you he's going to take care of you um, he's going to make sure if within his power that you're not uncomfortable if you don't have to be and if he doesn't have to be. And that's what I took from that. He's not going to cuddle with you. Well, he might, but he's not going to say, Oh, I love you and thanks for the gift and blah, 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 blah. And I mean, they're just different. And, and you appreciate those differences. You don't want somebody that's just like you. So just look for the ways that he shows your love. In the morning, when it's cold outside, he warms your car up for you. He might not say, I love you every freaking day or every freaking hour of the day or call you every freaking five minutes he gets a break at work. But just look at the things that he does for you. Um, he let When you're out with him, he lets people know that you're his woman. Um, he just doesn't want you to be uncomfortable. And then it talks about um, starting off a conversation with, we need to talk. Ladies, how many times have we heard, as soon as you say those words, um, the men are basically turned off. They turn their ears off. Um, <clears throat> and we all know most of the time if a man, man is physically attracted to you, it might not be a bad motive, but physical attraction can sometimes equal um, sexual attraction. So he probably wants to sleep with you. That's a no-brainer. Whether you let him do that or not um, shows in his eyes if you have boundaries or if you're respectable or not that's basically the whole premise of it mama's boy um, talks about that talks about why men cheat he said the biggest reason of all is because there's a woman out there willing to cheat with them I agree if you knowingly know you're with the man that's taken then of course that's the biggest reason because if you knew he was taken and you didn't mess with them and every woman did that, there would be a lot less cheating. I'm not blaming it all on women, I'm just saying this is one side of the story. So please don't go down my throat. Men respect standards. It says get some standards. Start your standards early. Don't try to um, be a certain way and then later on decide you want to change or you want to get standards. Then it's too late. You need to start them early in the beginning so he knows what he's getting into. And then he can decide and you can decide if that's something that you want to do together. There's questions you should ask before you get into deep. A 90 day rule. A lot of this stuff didn't apply to me so I really can't speak on it because I skimmed it. It was more about dating. If he's meeting the kids after you decide he's the one, it's too late. Stuff like that. I think it's a good book for women that are dating. I would recommend this book. It was an easy read. It was a funny read. It is a bit on the pricey side. $23.99 is a hardcover. But go to Amazon or whatever if you want to read it. I'm probably going to... Um, like mail it to my sisters or something, my family members, and let them read it. Um, it was a good book. I would recommend it. 
And then I bought You Being Beautiful. This book is also on the pricey side, $26.99 retail. You know, you, I think they have like soft covers and everything for this now. Really like this book because it's not about being beautiful, but it's about the things that are scientifically beautiful and things that are scientifically proven to help you be live up to your potential. Not it's not a shallow book. Say for instance, um, it goes through and it talks about a whole bunch of things like making your skin glow and the science behind skin and what you can put on your skin that's tried and proven to help you in certain skin instances, hair, teeth, hands and feet, um, stress, exercise. It's just I really like this book. Some of the skin products that I'm using now, and I'll do a third review in about a month, I have done because I have actually went ahead and stopped, you know, trying to use what everybody else is using and went back to what is the science behind what I want to accomplish for my face. Um, what do I need to do? What is scientifically proven to get rid of dark spots? Not what somebody else on YouTube used. What is scientifically proven? What is scientifically proven to help your teeth, your hair, your skin, your nails, those type of things. So, and it also talks about the science of attraction and what no matter what certain things are perceived as beautiful, not in a subjective way, but even babies out of the womb are attracted to certain things before they're even taught anything. It's that kind of thing. It's a lot. It's very scientific, but I think it's very useful at the same time. So I would recommend both of these books. Those are my book reviews. I'm going to turn the video off one more time. I got one more video, and then um, that'll be it. Okay, and I'm probably not going to post these all on the same day, just kind of spread the love a little bit. So, if you see me three times or two times in a row looking like this, it's because I did them all in one day. <laughs>